guys. So, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. So, my top three. What's that noise? Did you hear that? Oh, God. I swear I heard something move. I wonder if one of my cats got in here. <sighs> Sorry. So, my top three were... How do I tell how long? Oh, okay. So, I got some new equipment, and it's trial and error. So, um, my top three were Libra, um, Leo, and Cancer. So, you guys are going to come first, okay? Um, that's how it's going to go. That's the order. If you guys like the angel readings, let me know, because I will do... I will do some more of those. I just did those for my top three last month. But if you guys like them, let me know. If you're a new subscriber here, hi, welcome. Um, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you. Um, and if you're a, a past subscriber, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I, I have a new light. So it just clips on the side here. <laughs> so my dad bought it for me. My dad is so funny. He's probably like the one of the biggest supporters of my channel. And I don't ever ask him for anything. He just buys me stuff. <laughs> like he'll just, like he bought me, um, what was the last thing? He bought me something for my channel. Um, oh, it was like a, a, a tapestry to go behind. But I, I, I haven't put it up and haven't used it because um, I don't know where to put it in this house because this is just a temporary house where I'm staying and I want to use it like, um, you know, at my, my, my place, like my sacred space, you know, because once I, once I hang it up, I'm not going to take it down. So, um, but he bought me a light and he bought me a microphone. So I'm using this microphone too. Oh, it's 444, 444, 444, 444. It was just on my camera. So I also have a new microphone. So um, we're going to see how this works and hopefully there's not a lot of background noise and it works out and everything. Okay. So let me pause this for a second though. Just, I want to make sure the microphone's on. Okay. So here's hoping that the microphone doesn't pick up a lot of background noise. So, all right. Um, we are going to be using my Who deck. Okay, and my Rider Waits. I have this new deck. I'm gonna call it my Spirit Message deck. It's just one that I made. Ooh, are you guys gonna be able to see that? So I made. I I'm gonna. I use the light so that you guys could see the cards better. Um, I have this new deck. Oh yeah, see that's a lot better. Okay, I have this new deck. It's by Bodie Tarot. To give her a shout out, she has a, a nice little Etsy shop, um, Bodie Tarot. And I'm going to be using my um, Romance Angels, of course. So let's just go ahead and get right, let's just jump right in. So this reading is going to be for Libra. All right. So let's see how your, <laughs> the Libra page is doing. <laughs> uh, I remember y'all's reading because it was funny. The page kept showing up. There's a hair on my lipstick. It feels weird. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. Okay. I got to get used to these, like this super bright light too. It's really bright in my eyes. Okay. All right, Libra, what we got for Libra? Tell me what we got. Oh, there goes my nose getting itchy already. What do we need Libra to know? Libra. Can we get eight cards for Libra, please? Whoa. What in the deuce, Bigelow? Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, Libra. I was moving my camera back and making more room on the table so I could shuffle cards for you, okay? All right, what do we got for Libra? Let's get eight cards for Libra, please, Spirit Team. Eight cards for Libra. Eight cards for Libra, please. What do our Libras need to know? Eight cards, please. Ooh, these, this deck is... I'm going to have to get a new Rider Waite deck. This one looks like it's seen better days. 
Eight cards for Libra, please. Eight cards for Libra. Whoa, we got the Fool right off the bat. So we got some new beginnings coming up for you, Libra. In love, I told you. Keeps coming up. Why do these cards not want to shuffle today? What is going on? Justice. Ooh, and there you are. Libra energy is the scales. Uh-oh. Somebody's feeling bored. We bored, Libra. We got the moon. That came out as a side card because it just flew out. So we'll keep it. Okay. We'll keep it and see what's going on. We're resumed, right? Are we? Yeah. I'm going to make sure. This new equipment, everything's different, dude. Okay. So we're going to keep out that moon card just in case it, it plays in. Like when a card flies out like that, I'll keep it as a side energy card. And just keep it just to see if we're going to use it or not. I'm sweating. I should turn on the fan. Okay. Ooh. What is going on? Okay. We have Page of Cups, Three of Swords, three more cards please, Page of Swords. There is definitely somebody watching you. The Page of Cups and the Page of Swords, the pages to me, <clears throat> a lot of people say that the pages are messengers and they are, they can be. But to me, the pages are always to um, someone watching, curi out of curiosity, watching you, uh, wanting to learn about you. One more card for Libra, please. I see you definitely being sad about moving out about something, though, Libra. So I don't think you're giving your page a chance. There's a Knight of Swords. One second. I got to turn on this fan, Libra. I am sweating. Okay, so I'm hoping that that fan is not, I hope the noise is not going to be too loud in the microphone. I don't know, because I've, I've, like I said, it's the first time trying it out. So if it is, I'm sorry, I'll re-record you guys' video if it's too, if it's too loud. Okay, so let's, we're going to go over these cards right now. So we have the Fool. Now, he's, I love, see, I love this new light. Look at, you can see the card. So the Fool, this is about a new beginning, Okay. There is definitely an energy here, Libra, of you wanting to start over. You're you just you've had enough. Um, you've managed to balance out your life. You know that's what this is showing me. The Justice card right here, right? Can you see that? There's such a glare. I feel like it's too bright. Right there, Justice. Justice is about balance, right? But I feel like because. So I feel like because of this balance, you might be feeling a little bit bored. <laughs> you know, here's the card of boredom. It's a four of cups. Um, everything is just slowed way down for you in regards to your love life. There is an energy of somebody watching, though. We got the page of cups, which is the energy of someone being curious about you, watching, spying, Um it's interesting because we got the Page of Cups and then we got the Three of Swords, right? So it shows me that there's still a little bit of heartache and hesitation. We got the Page of Swords, the energy again of someone watching and spying. But again, just like in your last reading, they're coming out again as a page. It's a page. It's not, they're not coming across as, um, they're not coming across as king or emperor energy. Again, it's just page energy. So this is almost like a childlike type energy and not in a good way. Not like, you know, a childlike innocence. Like this is like immature energy, okay? And then we have the eight of cups. So again, an energy of letting go of something that no longer serves you. Can you guys see that? The glare is so bad. So it feels to me like your mind is made up, Libra, like you're whatever is coming in. There's no interest in it right now. Um, 
there is that knight of swords keeps coming up again the energy of that divine masculine that page energy look it keeps coming up the same cards as in your last reading you know when you guys were watching me shuffle look of the energy of someone wanting to come in very quickly they've made up their mind about you but i feel like you are just can't trust them anymore you know this card right here the eight of cups and the three of swords shows me that you're definitely moving on and you know this side energy the moon energy it's perfect because it feels to me like this person spent way too long hiding their feelings from you and so at this point you just feel like you really can't trust them anymore so I don't see you I don't see you giving that um, any more energy. Um, let's pull some romance angels and see if we can divine something for you here. All right, can we get three cards for Libra, please? After this, I'm going to be doing Leo and Cancer because those are my top three, like I said. All right, so what do we got? Three cards for the romance angels for Libra, please. What do we got for Libra? Libra. What do we got for Libra? Just three cards, please, Spirit. <clears throat> Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. What do we got for Libra? I hope you guys can hear me with that fan going. I don't know if the microphone is going to amplify it and make it sound really loud. It's just 555. Five, five. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So Spirit is saying you have too much invested in something in regards to this connection. You need to let things happen by themselves. Okay. You have too much invested in some part of your love life. Deception. See, this is not a good energy. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I feel like the person that you were dealing with for, for a good minute in these readings, right? I know in your last reading they kept showing up. And they're they're showing up as, as deceptive and... They're wearing a false mask. I'm going to show you this card in a minute. I'm just, last card for Libra from Romance Angels, please. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's an energy too of you healing your family issues. That could be right now while there's, why there's this energy of sort of healing, not feeling ready for love right now. See, we have let go of control issues. There we go. It's better. We have deception. Can't make it up. See? And we have healing family issues. So my advice to you would be, my beautiful Libras right now, is to work on yourself and do some healing. We're going to pull some cards from here. I love this deck. Love this new little heart deck. Ah! Where am I at so far? 13 minutes. We're making good time. Try to keep these readings under 20 minutes. It is really hard to shuffle this little heart deck. I love it. It's adorable. And the creators did a fantastic job. It's The only thing that makes it hard to shuffle is because it's shaped like a heart. So it's just a little bit tricky to like, you know, shuffle because it's in the shape of a heart. But because it's in the shape of a heart, that's why I love it so much. All right, so let's get, whoa, these are very slippery and hard to shuffle. Okay, I'm just going to slow down with these then when I shuffle. Okay. Ah, can we get two cards for Libra from this deck? Oh my God, this is impossible. I cannot do this. These cards are so hard to shuffle because they're shaped like a heart. Okay, let me flip them like this. That's better. Ah, no, not working. Still not working. All right. Oh my God, I wasn't going to take this, but I guess I am going to take it because it fell out. A twin flame connection is in or entering your life. This could be a friend or a lover. Either way, this connection may be triggering as they are a reflection of yourself. Oh my God, you're going to make it up. All right, there you go, Libra. Oh my God. Okay, we're just, 
Love is in the air. You are attracting someone you truly desire. The partner you've always dreamed about. Doop. So there you have it. Ready or not, here it comes, Libra. Whether or not you're ready, I hope that family healing goes quick. I have my, my rose quartz here, so too, just to make sure that I am, um, you know, reading for love. All right, so we're going to pull from the Who deck just to see if they can give us some character traits about this new connection that they said is coming in, this twin flame. It said twin flame, right? It was, okay. Let me see if I can find it again. A twin flame connection is in or entering, it said is in or entering your life. Wow. So it said friend or lover. Take it out, it resonates. Wow, I feel like the shuffling is going to be really loud now in the microphone. Oh, I hope it's not super loud and it's like killing your guys' ears right now. <laughs> That's funny. All right, can we get four cards for Libra about this new person? Um, the Twin Flame Connection. Ooh, we got a lot of cards here that just fell out. Okay. So one of the cards that fell out is Body Art. So it's like tattoos. This one also came out narcissistic. That one flew out with the body art. I wasn't sure if I was gonna take it because I didn't know if it, it was related to this reading. But be careful, this person either in the past could have been narcissistic or had narcissistic tendencies, so be careful. All right, let's see. I don't know if they still do now. All right, and then we have full body. Thick and juicy. All right. And let's see. Maybe the, the narcissistic is someone was telling me the other day, um, because the, the narcissistic card came up in Capricorn's reading, and someone was telling me that they believed it could have been like for their the their partner's family, like their family is very like narcissistic, has narcissistic tendencies. So if this doesn't pertain to your, you know, your partner or the one that you're connected to and you know it doesn't sound like them or their energy, you know, because it says a twin flame connection. So if your twin flame is narcissistic, then you're narcissistic, right? Because they're your mirror. <laughs> they are you. So if that doesn't make sense and you're like, I'm not a narcissist, so my person's not a narcissist, then it could be, you know, the narcissistic energy is related somehow to your, to your twin flame. So maybe their ex-partner was a narcissist and that's why they're very, um, you know, that, that could be why they're like scared of love. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, so the last card we got for your perch, per, perchin, your perchin. Your person is nurturer. So they're a very nurturing person. So let's just recap. We have body art, so tattoos. <laughs> um, narcissistic. So this feels like, honestly, like they've had relationship with people in the past who have been narcissistic. So you're going to have to keep that in mind when, you know, you start to get close to them they might, that might come up. It might be a big trigger for them. And then we got full body. So a little bit on the curvy side. Ain't nothing wrong with curvy. I'm curvy. Hey, shout out to all the curvy cuties. All right. And then we have nurturer. So this person would be very kind and loving and sweet and have that type of motherly type energy now i didn't say she looked motherly she but she probably has that type of energy he or she a very sweet calm nurturing healing type energy okay so let's go ahead we're gonna end with my spirit message deck the one that i created there also are character traits in here but there's way more other things than character traits so if character traits do come up that's you know you know why but this is a spirit deck so it's got lots of different things in it so okay let's get last four cards for libra please 
Why am I having so much trouble shuffling today? It's crazy. Okay. Last four cards for Libra, please. What do we need our Libras to know? Let's wrap it up, please, Spirit. All right. Oh, so we have open heart. So someone has an open heart in this connection. So beautiful. I am not taking all the motherfucking cards, Spirit. You don't lost your damn mind. Okay, we have open hearts. Let's shuffle these again. Because I'm having some troubles. Okay. We have open hearts. Taurus. So Taurus energy. Very nice. All right. Take that how it resonates. Maybe your person is a Taurus or they have Taurus in their chart. Seduction. Whoa. Okay. What else? Let's get one last card for you because you know we have a we have a moon sign a rising sign and the sun sign so they probably have Taurus in their chart and we have Aries okay so we have open heart Taurus seduction who who doesn't want some of that in their life can we all get some of that Libra and then we also have Aries so your person has Aries and Taurus somewhere in their chart. Guaranteed. All right. Thank you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, please, if you feel so guided to check out my Etsy shop, it's always in the description box below. It's free to like and subscribe um, and share. So if you hit the little notification bell, see, bell, la, la, la. <laughs> I guess it's to clear the energy between readings then you will never miss a video it'll notify you every time i um, upload a video let's see my lemurian love decks on sale in my etsy shop it's half off so it went from 50 to 25 so if you'd like to pick up a deck now is the time if you like mermaids it's for you uh please check out my son's channel if you feel so guided to it's always in the description box below he just uploaded a new video actually about his pokemon and it's super cute so check it out guys um i appreciate it uh, so what else? Hmm. If you want to purchase a reading from me or tip me, that is also in the description box below. I appreciate all of your tips and all of your donations. You guys, my bread and butter. Okay. As you know, this is my only job. Um, what, what else? Um, I guess that's it. Thank you, Libra. I love you so much. Bye.